<laughs> now, if you didn't get glasses, did you know you can actually make your own Eclipse Viewer with yes. materials you should really have at home? Yeah, yes. we're getting some help making one from our exceptionally crafty Kate Francis. So, Kate, show us how do we make our own? Yes, yeah, so if you don't have the glasses or if you're just afraid, like if maybe you've got little ones at home and you want to have a safe way of viewing, we have very uh, common household mm -hmm. items old toilet paper rolls or if you've got uh, paper towel rolls you can cut them some white plain paper okay some tin foil a pen or a pencil and then basically we're just going to tape it all together with some scissors and we're going to use like a safety pin we've got a, a pin here that we're going to prick in just a second so you ready to do yeah, it yeah let's do it so I'm ready. what we're going to do is we're going to take our roll and we're going to trace it which, by the way, do you know this brand of toilet paper? No, I've never heard of it. <laughs> this came from our producer, <coughs> Becky. <laughs> Did you read some of these things? No. I think this is the brand. And I have to ask her about that. We're going we're gonna to draw a couple of tabs, which will help us tape it down. Just like that. Okay. okay. And so then you're drawing so, a tab, some yep. tabs. Okay. So it'll end up looking like this when you're done. And then... This is actually something fun you could do with the kids. Like yep. I know George is learning the dexterity cut? of cutting. Sure. So you can actually make them with the kids too, which is great. A little so craft. while you're doing that, um, we're gonna tape this down. Okay. Oh, before we do that, actually, you're gonna cut just a little bit of a U shape in the bottom so that you have your viewer. Oh, because you need a little bit of a lip. Yep. Okay, so you got it. Do that, perfect. Okay. All right, so there we go. And then we've got our scotch, a regular handy dandy scotch tape here. So we're just gonna tape that down. Okay, and you just, you just freehanded the tabs, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's basically just to help you get the- The thing the, to stick to the bottom. The paper to stick, yep. And you know, there's so many kids that um, don't have school this week for April break, so this is like such a fun project, you what know? What did you do with the hole? What did you do? There you go. You just cut like a little U shape so that you have a view, the viewer. A little U shape so out of the toilet is, paper. Yep, okay. so this is going to basically be like the light catcher. Okay. And that way it's basically going to give you a shadow so that you have a safe viewing. A moon shadow? Yes. I'm being followed <laughs> by a moon shadow. Moon shadow. And then we're going to take our aluminum foil. And there's the reflective part. And you're just going to put it over the top. So we're going to use some tape. But if you have a, a rubber band or a hair tie, you can use that instead. I, I, yeah, I'm a little behind. Today, you're OK. Here you go. So yeah. wait, the tabs, you put this down like this, right? Correct. The tabs, OK. Yep. Perfect. Okay. You only need one or two of those, these things. What do you mean? Just one on one side? Oh, yep. okay. So the yes, other yes, is the yes. tin foil. Yep. Okie dokes. All right. Hang on. I Come apologize. on, Scott. This is easy enough. You're yep. good. I got it. Perfect. Okay. All right. So then here's the, ready for this? Yeah. All you're going to do is one little, one little pin, pin prick. prick right on the top. And then as the light comes through, you'll watch on the bottom here. You watch it through the pinprick, right? Yep. You watch through this hole that we made with the U? Yes. You're gonna and have to bring that to the science through. center to check it out. So you'll be able to see basically the shadow of the eclipse through the bottom viewer. Okay. Just through the pinprick, so it's a safe viewing. So you're not looking directly at the sun if you don't have your glasses. And okay, there's a so you pinprick right here in the middle, right? Yep. Just one little tiny hole. Like this. Oh, I see. Okay. Doesn't go. You don't have doesn't to, go close to your face. You don't have to hold it right up to your eyeball. Okay. Very. Good. Is it like okay this. if you see a little bit of the outside in the corner when you look in? You look at the white part on the bottom. You hook. Is this far? Is this close enough, back? No, you're supposed to do the this side, Scott. Through this the pin. Yeah, prick. through the pin prick. So you're through, looking. So you're looking up through the white. Back, our through, producer's coming in to show here. us. Do you understand? Totally not. <laughs> Wait. You look through this. 
up at the thing in the pin pinhole. Okay. You don't have your readers on, is that no, why? Yes. And then exactly. there's the white paper, and you'll see the reflection. So you'll see the shadow. So this yeah. is Becky, our illustrious producer. Hello. <laughs> The sun goes in here. You point like that's where the sun is. Okay. You're not is looking she, at the sun. Is she close no. enough to the microphone? You're yes, not you're, looking you're, at the sun. And then the, you look through the little white part down here, and you'll see the shadow of the eclipse. You just want the shadow. Through. So you just want the shadow. So the, the pinpoint, pinpoint points toward the, the sun. sun. Got I think it. we're going to create a new segment called How <laughs> Thanks, to Stump Beth. Our Meteorologist <laughs> on Science. This is a, I got a to roll of toilet paper. <laughs> Get the glasses. Well, you don't need the glasses to read the toilet paper brand, though. <laughs> 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 well, great job, Scott. You got to bring that to the Connecticut Science Center with you. Uh, I think I'm going to leave this at home. Oh well, boy! Test All it. Right. Test it out. Well, All and right, we hope that you guys out. check this out. And remember, the Great American Eclipse. The live coverage is from two to four. Scott, you and Mark Dixon are going to be live at the Connecticut Science Center, Starting right? Three twenty-five. All right. So tune in. And then Mike Slifer will be live at Presque Isle, Maine. Thank you so much, Kate, for showing us how to craft that. There you Have go. A great Have a great day, day everyone. See you tomorrow.